Hey guys, welcome back to Carmen's Cuisine. Casseroles are a major side dish that you would see on the Thanksgiving dinner table, and sweet potatoes or yams are also a main ingredient used in Thanksgiving dinner recipes. So for my Thanksgiving special series, I'm gonna combine the two and make a sweet potato casserole. The ingredients needed for this are three sweet potatoes, which goes to about 1.2 pounds, half a cup of packed brown sugar, three to three and a half tablespoons of butter, one egg, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of flour, half a cup of pecans, toasted or not toasted, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three fourths cups of marshmallows, and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. These two are optional. Let's get started. I'm baking my potatoes instead of boiling them so that I can preserve the full flavor. And to do this, poke one hole with a fork on each potato. Now bake this at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Pulled it out of the oven after 42 minutes and I just cooled it for 20 minutes so I can handle the heat when I'm peeling it. And it's a little bit overcooked and wrinkly so I recommend doing only 40 minutes. And now I can peel it. Just cut the ends off first because these have a lot of fiber. Now cut a slit through the middle and peel both sides off. Then just like cut it a little bit. the potatoes I'm using a potato masher and if you use this it will become like a little chunky and have a lot of texture but you could also use an electric mixer which would make it more creamy. For 45 seconds so now it's ready to mix my ingredients in. I set aside about one third of my total brown sugar amount which came to be about three to three and a half tablespoons and I melted two out of the three tablespoons of butter. And I also have vanilla extract, egg, salt, and cinnamon. Now I can mix them in. This is good, but if you want more sugar, then you can add it. And now it's time to add my egg. My casserole mix is done. So now I can work on my crumble, which goes on top of the casserole. You need your pecans, Five and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, which is just the rest. Two tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of butter. Now just top your pecans. Now that they're all chopped, add your flour to your brown sugar and mix it in. If you want a more crumbly consistency, then just add more flour. Add the butter and like just mix it up so that it forms like crumbs. Once it's crumbly like this, add your pecans. You want to leave a little bit, about like one third of it, so that you can put it into the casserole mixture. The crumble is ready, so now I can add the rest of the pecans into the casserole mixture. Okay. Now that it's all mixed, so I can put it in a baking container. I've lined my six by eight baking pan with butter, just greased it, so now I can put the casserole mixture in. finish spreading out the cast 
though, and it smells a lot like pumpkin pie. So I'm starting to wonder if pumpkin pie is really pumpkin pie. It could be sweet potato pie in disguise. And also pumpkin lovers, you should really try this recipe. And now that I've spread this out, I can top it off with the crumble. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. I just took it out of the oven after 20 minutes on 350 and you can see that it's caramelizing but it still has like a crumbly texture. And since I love marshmallows so much, I'm gonna top it off with 3 fourths cups of marshmallows. But if you don't like marshmallows, you can just keep it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes without taking it out. And if you have people with different opinions, you could just do it half and half. So now it's time to top it. I've topped the whole casserole with marshmallows and now we can pop this back into the oven at 350 for eight to 10 minutes or until the tops of the marshmallows are golden brown. It's been 10 minutes in the oven and you can see that it's done because the marshmallows are golden brown and all fluffed up. And this is pretty hot right now. You can serve it like this if you want to, but I'm gonna wait like another five to 10 minutes so that I can actually handle the heat. Time for the taste test. Mm. The blend of flavors between the caramelized crumble and the marshmallows and the soft sweet potato is so amazing. If you haven't checked out my first Thanksgiving recipe, make sure to check that out and like and subscribe.